So let me say a few words and um, by a few slides here um, from the industrial perspective. Yeah. So if you if you look at a company that like here Audi, yeah, they are building uh, cars and it looks very nice from the outside. But those kind of companies, even highly sophisticated, have a lot of disturbances and disruptions going on. Yeah, there are a lot of quality issues that you have to fix. Yeah, and and um, when you build such a system, yeah, such a production system, you do it. Engineers build a design, then you implement the design. This is a red box about system capability that is not fulfilling the whole design space. There is a gap. Yeah, and now. Yeah, when you have a production system where the people are not fully enabled by education to use the systems, the systems wear out, yeah, they have certain kind of deficits, yeah, um, and this is where predictive maintenance comes into play. So they are a subset of the design and, um, and imperfections are everywhere. So now you look at those kinds of design on one hand side and system capabilities on the other hand side, certain kinds of problems arise, disturbances, uh, arise and uh, those kind of systems. On one hand side, if it is within the system capabilities, we call it predictive maintenance. Yeah, fix it. Yeah, lubricants. If it is beyond what we know in our company right now, but it's within the design space, in principle, I can do it. So I have to teach my people. I have to enhance my my system so that I can keep up to the design. But the more interesting part are the pieces that go beyond disturbances. And on the next slide, oops, um, I have the four types that we are looking at from an AI perspective, how to handle that. These are disturbances, as I said, one is within the system capability. Second is disturbances that are within the design. The designers have thought about it, but the people, the actual implementation cannot cope with it right now. So you have to deal with that. And then there are disturbances that go beyond. And these are the really interesting pieces. They are not bad. They are opportunities for moving your business into a new domain. Yes, something is going on in the world you cannot cope with. And the question is, how can I handle that? There are two different types. One is, I want to handle. This is number three. And the fourth time is something that is singular. Like in Central or Continental Europe, as the, as the English say, yeah, we have to deal with Brexit. This will be singular. We have to deal with that, but we will not change our business in a company. Yeah, so uh, these are disturbances we are dealing with. And then if you put those kind of disturbances, and here is where you see that management science will have to broaden its perspective, that you say we want to deal with that. We need resilience. We want to make our companies more resilient towards change, towards disruptions, towards disturbances. And then reaction in the middle is where we look at right now. Something happens, I have to fix it. Yeah, this is also true for social communities in any respect, but I'm dealing more with industry. This is where we try to contain incidents. But what is more interesting is to look ahead, to anticipate what will come in the future and say, how can I prepare my company? Yeah, there are different stages different levels, strategic levels, operational levels, yeah, and there are engineering levels that you have to st distinguish, yeah, and if I do that correctly, if I really anticipate what is coming as good as I can and maybe better as my competitor, I might have the opportunity to come into a state that is superior, that gives me a competitive advantage and build services that enhance my business, and then we go to the right side, yeah, so Putting that all together, um, we are just at the beginning. We mainly look at reaction. Yeah, we are quite reactive in anything that we make. Something goes wrong. Yeah, predictive maintenance and so on. But the landscape is much broader. And the question is for AI is, which kind of data can be transformed and which kind of services that support these requirements that are given by anticipation, reaction, and enhancement of business? Thank you.